what makes CJ so difficult to defend and you go up against him in practice? Uh, just his elusiveness, you know, how quick and fast he is. Um, he can get up on you real quick, so if you don't get your hands on him, it's, it's going to be a long day. I think going into a road environment and, uh, you know, looking forward to that challenge. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's our first experience, you know, uh, in a hostile environment. And it's a great time, you know, where you can just be with your brothers and you're going in there um, together. And that's what it's about. What do you guys see from Virginia? Obviously, they lost last week, but they, you know, very tough opponent on the road. What, what are you guys seeing from that? A talented running back in there. They're very sound. They, um, they use a lot of schemes, a lot of different uh, conceptual, you know, type of things. So you have to be on your P's and Q's as far as... Uh, you know, your eyesight and things like that. Jalen, with how good this defense was at the beginning of last year, was there anything about Saturday that made it feel different than like Michigan last year? Was there anything that made it feel like more sustainable? Um, absolutely. Uh, just the fact that, you know, the defense, sorry, we have an understanding of, you know, what we're supposed to be doing. You know, um, last year it was a, a, it was a lot of learning tools and a lot of things that we needed to cover there. and. Um, you know, Coach told us from the beginning, you know, when we uh, skunked Michigan, it was uh, way ahead of our time. And, um, you know, he really tried to humble us and, and things like that. But, you know, now with the, with the year under our belt, it's just about continually getting better. So, Sheldon said you guys want to get four sacks a game is kind of the, the average you're gunning for. That's double what you had last year. So how do you, how do you kind of sustain it from the Texas game now going forward? I mean, it's, it's on the practice field. You know, how hard are you working? Are you taking that extra step? You know, um, are, you, are you taking any breaks and things like that? So it's just anything we need to do to make sure that we're, we're steady in shape and not giving up on any plays. And, and that's something that we're striving for, sacks. I think the assumption's always been on the outside that you're, you're going to end up being an outside linebacker. But I've had somebody within the NFL say, no, you're a better fit for, for the will next level because most outside linebackers in the 4-3 are a lot larger. How, how, do you, how do you look at that? Where, where do you see your future with that? I think I can play anywhere. I mean, I, I'll be able to I mean, I'll put on pounds. It's, it's just a matter of, you know, player discretion as far as, you know, what I'd like. Um, but um, I'm happy with any position. I just want, I just want to play the game. It's, it's the love of the game, and that's something that, um, you know, I've been playing since I was seven years old. And, just want to play it and help the team win. Were you sold on the move to the will last year that this could be turn out to be something great for your present and future, that that this might make you even better line, all around linebacker? No, I thought that right away. Just uh, to have an understanding that I can play, you know, the Mike, the Sam, the Wills, and you know, you guys get to see that I can play the, the, the Russian, you know. So it's just about being versatile and you know, maximizing your potential.